Just tell me about your toe. That's what I want to hear. My toe? I want to know about your toe. Well, <clears throat> a prophetic word had been given over Lindsay and me about the healing ministry. And she and I took that word and began to confess it along with the word of God, what things soever you desire, Mark chapter, Mark chapter 11, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive and you shall have it. She and I began to confess a healing ministry. I knew the day was coming, but I didn't know when. And we didn't announce it. We just talked about it amongst ourselves. And she and I prayed and we held on to that word we had from God. And uh, she and I were, I don't remember where we were, but we were in a service and I was closing. And at the last moment, I heard myself say this, Lord, heal that man's big toe. And there was a, a snap in my own toe, a, a, like a bone moving. And I said to myself, well, I wonder why I said that. I closed the service. That's called a mind bypass. A, a few weeks later, <laughs> I got a letter from a man who said, how did you know about my toe? He said, my, my toe was broken and I had been to the doctors, had an x-rayed. And uh, he said, I was in your service that night. And when you said, Lord, heal that man's big toe, uh, my toe snapped. And he said, I went back to the doctor and had it re-examined and it showed there's no break. He said, what did you do? And I, I, I wrote back and said, well, I didn't do anything except say what I felt the Lord had me say. Lindsay pointed her finger at me and said, this is the beginning of your healing ministry. Hmm. I said, a, a toe? A toe? Well, you got to start yes. somewhere for and sure. Never despise a small <laughs> beginning. And so Lindsay and I set our faith together. She and I believed God. And it was in April of 1980 when we were in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and people began to get healed in numbers. Blindness, deafness, all in the same service, uh, uh, people coming out of wheelchairs. And I, I remember, said I remember so well, she was sitting out in the crowd. She hated sitting on the platform. She wanted to be out in the crowd so she could watch and, and pray like she's doing right now. She's praying right now for me uh, on, on this program. But she sat there and I saw her. She just nodded her head and she said, this is, this is, the, this is it. This is the fulfillment of what happened with that toad.